WFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This year, 2 p.m. update, and currently all U.S. indices trading the downside. Dow's off 1,000 points, 1,079 to be exact. That's 3 and 3 tenths percent. S&P is off 3 and 7 tenths percent, or 151 points. NASDAQ 100, about 600 points, nearly 5 percent. Russell's off 3 and a half percent, 64. Semi's off 4 and a half percent, 138. 7 percent move to the downside inside the trannies. They are just simply getting smashed and thrashed. Gold's off 3 bucks. Silver down 28 cents. Lights recruit off 289. Natural gas is flat. 30 year treasury up one and a half points trading out at 140.04 let's go spend a little time take a look at our indice charts out here you know see what they're going to tell us but maybe that's not going to be a helpful thing to do well, let's just go do it anyways and let's take a look at what they're signaling to us so in the case of each so yesterday everything looked hunky dory and right now things don't look so dory and the reason they looked hunky dory yesterday is because price had gotten over those oscillator and change lines we're back below them we're back below a red oscillator and change line. Tells us we have a falling price oscillator below zero. Those are bearish conditions. Now, price is pulling back into the swing points from a few days ago. When we took a look at the index ETFs, it's doing that on light volume. Light volume or not, you have to reject the swing point. That means close above the high of the swing point in order to get a valid rejection. If you don't, then we don't know whether price is going to go test the bottom. Could, should, but with light volume, you just simply never know. In the case of the S&P 500, you can see really the same setup there. The NDX 100, same setup there. The Russell 2000 is really just testing this oscillator and change line. So the semis are the strong. Even though the semis are down, what, 5%, 4.5%, uh, they're still above their red oscillator and change line. So if this is just a fake out to the downside, then the place that you would want to take a long trade would be the semis, at least based upon these eight panel uh, charts out here for the indices. Let's go back to the green background charts, take a look at our nine panel market update, see if there's anything there of significance for us to take a look at. We'll change screens here momentarily. Uh, with regard to the U.S. dollar index, uh, it may be targeting 102.86. Gold has tested and rejected the bottom of its daily profile to 1806 there. Silver looks like it still wants to make the move to 22.76. 30-year Treasury continues to consolidate with inside its daily profile. That's between 138.13 and 141.06. Looks like natural gas wants to make a run for nine bucks. And uh, Life Week Crude might be pulling back to 104.44. Folks, stay tuned for David White. He's up next. Have a wonderful Wednesday. I'll see you tomorrow at the Ripley 13. Be safe.